What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Jennifer Rush. And once again, major shout out to Darren for sharing her original album classics compilation, her first five records. And we're still going through the 1984 self titled debut album. And the next tune in the playlist is Ring of Ice. Obviously, I haven't heard too many of Jennifer's tunes, only a handful, a very small sample size, but the ones I have heard have been largely running in the direction of romance and emotional intimacy, relationships. So in that regard, the first thing that jumps out to me is that ice, things which are frozen, are often used, not just in music, but different art forms, cinematic, literary, visual, to indicate frozen emotions or chilled and cold feelings. And perhaps um, the second part of the phrase, or the first part of the phrase, rather, uh, could be relevant, although my brain takes that in some different directions. Obviously rings are things that people wear and they can be symbolic or representative of someone's status either independently or relative to someone else, but they can also be indicative of emo an emotional state or a personality trait and thus it could be a token which speaks to the whole of whatever the emotional circumstances are here, but also rings are things which encircle something else of a different substance and therefore it could be a frozen protective ring, something shielding the individual in inside from more warm or intense emotions, but of course things which are frozen can be melted or broken and perhaps the humanity inside drawn out or made more vital again, so there seems to be a lot at play just in the title alone. I have no doubt a lot of that will be completely irrelevant. Let's listen to it. This is Jennifer Rush. The track is Ring of Ice and it's from her 1984 self-titled album.
really goes to the edge and sometimes it, it gives it a, not only a more intense character but there's a more human quality to it and yeah it's interesting at first it felt like it was pretty much straight away like someone who's you know pretending that they're um, you know they're hiding behind uh, a ring of ice but then as it went on it was like wait so you know, she's saying there's all these people who are like they're dancing in the night whether you know clubs or they're giving off this impression of vitality, but they're actually, you know, frozen. There, there's a, there's an emptiness to it, and surrounded by all these empty lives. And so it felt like it was more, a, a broader point, and one about perhaps the way humans um, protect themselves, even as they project different things. Perhaps speaking to the release or elation that can come with dancing even if the emotions behind it are far more complicated uh, so really interesting tune thematically as I heard it here on my first listen and again not only did I not catch everything but um, I have no doubt there may be some nuances I'm missing so yeah uh, compelling tune lyrically and then sonically it was funny because it had this the slap in bass the whole time just this really dynamic energetic bass and at different times the melodic runs were very, you know, fast and um, frenetic. The drum machine in different points, it felt like there were some different uh, rhythmic cycles going on. So, yeah, an energetic tune and one with um, sonics that supported what uh, Jennifer did vocally. So, yeah, cool tune. Want to hear it again. Want to re-listen to that one. Let me know what you think about it, and I will see you next time. Peace.